has uh, staff, by the way? Okay, you're connected to those people. So you've got staff right now, and wouldn't it be wonderful to be able to walk away from your business without it exploding on you? Or having that emergency phone call? You have to train them to do that. I'm going away for a month and six weeks. Are you in panic? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the point. We do need time to recharge. We do have a life. And if you're, if you're actually so attached to your business that it can't go without you, you've now created a bigger, worse job than you've ever thought possible. Your business now owns you, and the objective is to actually change your leadership so that other people can take on the roles. And you've got to do that slowly and gradually. But it's amazing how resourceful people can be when they have to be. Absolutely. So take all of the things you've already taught them, the good qualities of that, which is they're consistent and they're persistent and put that to use in such a way that it gets you what you want. And don't allow them to suck you in. I bet you in three days you can change the entire staff mode. You'll have one probably in your, your environment that'll actually want to hang on a little bit longer than the rest. But if you make it uncomfortable and ask silly questions like, why don't you respect me? <laughs> or are you really feeling incompetent? Or that you're, um, you know, how, how have we established this relationship? You're a lot more competent than that. I don't get it, you know? What's going on here? And if you deal with uh, what's going on rather than the, you know, the issue as it shows up, you know, that urge to solve the problem, if you stop solving problems, I guarantee you they will actually solve problems. 100%, that's the bonus round. <laughs>